ocean temperatures are steaming right now. Many waters around Florida and into the Caribbean are clocking 90 degree temperatures, prompting warnings from government officials for coral bleaching. Meteorologist and climate specialist Elisa Rafa joins us now. And Elisa, you spoke for, uh, with an expert from UNC who just came back from the Galapagos Islands. Um, what was he studying and how does it relate to what we're talking about today? I geeked out so much this morning talking <laughs> to him. I mean, I felt like I was in the Galapagos getting to talk to Dr. John Bruno, and we were talking all about coral bleaching. So let me tell you a little bit about what it is. Um, in order to understand what coral bleaching is, we need to understand um, how the corals actually eat. Okay. And uh, basically, corals, if you're probably familiar with them, they look like they're plants, but they're actually animals. Mm. And in order for them to eat, they have to have this relationship with um, an algae, right? The algae is called zooxanthellae. And basically, they have this friendship, this like kind of roommate ship going on where the um, zooxanthellae can make food for the coral by photosynthesis and sugar. And the coral lets the algae hang out and it has a house. Well, when the oceans get too warm, the coral basically evicts the zooxanthellae, it evicts the algae, and then the coral can't eat. The algae also houses the color for the coral, so once it leaves, the coral turns bright white. You're looking at the calcium carbonate that the coral is made of. That's what the bleaching is, and without this algae, the corals will die, and they have died um, at large rates. Mm. So obviously, the coral dying is a bad thing, but why is, it, why is that so detrimental to the marine ecosystem? We need them so badly. Um, Dr. John Bruno, I loved his analogy. He said the corals are like apartment buildings in the city, right? They house everything okay. else. Without them, you don't have the the lobsters, the sea critters, the shrimp, all things we love to eat. Here's Dr. Bruno explaining what this means to people. And it matters to the people that live near coral reefs because that's oftentimes the source of their livelihoods. You know, whether they're fisher, fishermen or they're in the tourism industry and, you know, they're bringing people out to the reef to see the ecosystem. So it's really important for their incomes. Reefs are a really important buffer against storms. So a lot of places I work, when the reefs die off, waves start coming right over the crest and start eroding the shoreline. Mm. Well, with these temperatures so warm already, because um, we even said, I think they were in the 90s yeah. in the area that we're talking about, how is coral bleaching this particular season? So... We haven't even hit peak heating for the oceans yet. That mm -hmm, doesn't really right. happen until September, October, think peak of hurricane season. Mm -hmm. So we still have a ways to go. And what one of the big drivers is this season is El Nino. That's a warm ocean circulation. And it's really cranking these ocean temperatures along with climate change. So there will be severe bleaching. We just don't know the magnitude and the, the scope of it um, until we're, we know how long this El Nino is gonna last and how bad that will be. But when I asked Dr. Bruno about the bleaching, he said, well, we sadly, there's not even a lot of corals left to bleach off. There would have been more if we had more of the corals. So I asked him, how do you stay so hopeful when most of them have died off? And here's what he had to say. It's not like it used to be. It's lost a lot of coral, but it's still just mind blowing. There's still some coral there and it's protected largely from fishing and the fish communities are extraordinary. You know, every dive we see huge grouper, Stingrays, sharks, you know, all kinds of fishes, lots of lobster. There's still so much life and biodiversity left. Even on these reefs that are like incredibly degraded compared to what they were when I was a kid. By the way, all this video that you've been seeing is footage from I him. I was just going to yeah. ask scuba that. diving. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I so couldn't, it was heartbreaking to me when he said, well, yeah, there would be bleaching, but a lot of it is already the damage has been done. Yeah. And 